Tony Stewart embarks on a thrilling new challenge in top fuel racing as Leah Pruitt opens a bold new chapter in her life. Get a sneak peek into the 2024 racing season as Stewart makes his highly anticipated drag racing debut, while Pruitt takes a step towards a different kind of adventure. Stay tuned to NASCAR Zone to discover the unparalleled shift in NHRA history, where family and fuel collide in a unique journey. But before we jump, hit that subscribe button. Leah Prude, a renowned figure in the National Hot Rod Association NHRA, has announced her decision to step aside from the high-octane world of drag racing. Prude, known for her exceptional skill behind the wheel of the 11,000 horsepower Dodge Top Fuel Dragster, is making a pivot towards a different kind of life adventure, starting a family with her husband, Tony Stewart. This news, emerging from Indianapolis on December 7, 2023 marks a pivotal moment in Prude's illustrious career and opens a new chapter in her personal life. And we're here to announce that I will be stepping out of the seat in 2024, focusing on starting a family with Tony. And with that, uh, between myself and Neil, this decision did not come overnight about who was going to be that selected driver. And through Tony's, he, he has proven through multiple ways that we'll discuss uh, being a candidate that Neil Strassbaugh and myself selected to replace me in the Top Fuel Dragster uh, for TSR uh, with our existing partners for next season. Accompanying this announcement is another groundbreaking revelation that adds an exciting twist to the 2024 racing season. Tony Stewart, Prude's husband and a decorated racer in his own right, is poised to make his debut in Top Fuel Racing. Stewart, a Hall of Fame driver with a remarkable track record across various racing disciplines, including NASCAR, IndyCar, and USAC. It's set to take the reins of Prude's top fuel dragster under the banner of Tony Stewart Racing TSR. His entry into the NHRA Gator Nationals at Gainesville Raceway, scheduled for March 7-10, 2024, is eagerly anticipated by fans and competitors alike. Leah Prude's journey in the world of drag racing has been nothing short of remarkable. From her early beginnings in the NHRA's Junior Drag Racing League at the tender age of eight, Prude has carved out a formidable career in one of the most adrenaline-fueled sports. Over her 27 years in the NHRA, Prude has emerged as a 12-time top fuel event winner, a testament to her skill, determination, and passion for the sport. 2023 marked a particularly stellar year in Prude's career. She not only claimed two victories, but also finished third in the top fuel category, achieving the best season finish of her 14-year tenure in top fuel racing. This accomplishment further solidified her reputation as one of the top competitors in the field. Prude and her crew chief, Neil Strasbaugh, selected Stewart as Prude's replacement, a decision that speaks volumes about their confidence in his capabilities. You know, when we talked about it initially and we started talking about who we thought should go in the car, she asked me if I wanted to be in the list and I said, absolutely not. I, I wasn't comfortable yet. I, I was still learning how to drive the alcohol car and uh, didn't feel like I was good enough yet to, to be to that caliber. And, I, and I'm still not, I'm not convinced I'm that guy, uh, but Neil and Leah seem to think they, they've been around it long enough, they know what to look for and they have more confidence in me than I have in myself right now. But uh, I know I've got a great support system I'm working with guys that I've been around for two straight years now uh, that have become family to me. And, um, you know, like Leah said, when we talked to the team yesterday, they were supportive and behind us. And, uh, you know, that gets the year off start on the right foot. Before we move further, do take a moment to like this video and subscribe to the channel in order to see more informative content like this. As he prepares to join the two-car TSR operation in NHRA alongside funny car driver, and 2023 world champion Matt Hagen, Stewart is set to face a formidable field in the top fuel category. His entry into this highly competitive arena is not just about continuing his racing legacy, but also about embracing the challenge of competing at the highest level against some of the best drivers in the sport. While Prude takes a step back from the driver's seat, she is not stepping away from the sport entirely. Her role within TSR is expected to evolve, allowing her to contribute her vast knowledge and experience in a mentorship or advisory capacity. I couldn't be more excited to support my husband in a very 
extremely competitive race car, very safe race yeah. car. I'll be his driving coach next year. That'll last like this long, I feel like. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's got a good wrap around it, as well as a new role that I have with the team, which is in the technology department as we work on new projects. So I've been deeply invested in that. I started some courses, and that actually started Saturday at Pomona. It takes about almost 40 hours a week to get me to where I need to be in order to do this, uh, to do this job. And ultimately, we just plan to optimize our performance in every way. And as hard as I've thought that I've worked to do well in my seat, I'm working just as hard, if not more, uh, as well as the entire team to make sure that Tony's in not only the same caliber of race car, but maybe even a better one next year so he can run right there for a championship like we were. One of the primary challenges for Stewart will be adapting to the distinct nature of drag racing, especially in the top fuel class. Unlike the oval, dirt, and road tracks where Stewart has predominantly competed, top fuel dragsters require a different skill set focusing on explosive power, reaction times, and straight-line speed. Adjusting to these new dynamics, along with mastering the intricacies of a top fuel dragster, will be crucial for Stewart's success. Given his celebrated status in the racing world, expectations for Stewart's performance in top fuel are naturally high. Fans and pundits alike will be keen to see how quickly he can translate his previous racing successes into results in the drag racing arena. The pressure to perform at a high level from the outset adds an additional layer of challenge for Stewart. The top fuel category is renowned for its competitive field, featuring some of the best drivers in NHRA. Stewart will be pitted against seasoned racers who have honed their skills specifically in drag racing. This level of competition requires not just skill and speed, but also strategic acumen and mental toughness. Prude's role as a mentor and advisor will be critical in Stewart's transition. Her insights into the nuances of top fuel racing, combined with her understanding of the competition and the tracks, will be invaluable. However, translating this guidance into practical application on the track will be a test of Stewart's learning agility and adaptability. Beyond the technical and competitive aspects, Stewart will also need to manage the expectations and pressure that come with stepping into a new racing category. Balancing the excitement of a new challenge with the reality of a steep learning curve will be key to his mental and emotional approach to racing. Prude's decision highlights a growing conversation around work-life balance in professional sports, especially for women. Her choice to prioritize family life while at the peak of her career brings attention to the challenges female athletes face in balancing professional aspirations with personal commitments. This move could inspire more inclusive policies and support systems within the racing community and other professional sports, acknowledging the diverse needs of athletes. Stewart's move to top fuel racing is likely to attract increased attention to the NHRA from a broader audience. His well-established fan base from NASCAR, IndyCar, and USAC may follow his journey into drag racing, bringing new fans and increased media coverage to the sport. So what do you think? Do share your theories in the comments below and hit that subscribe button for more updates.